we can hear what it means to the players. Back-to-back -back wins against Maryland. Can you say a few words what it means for this program after? Uh, sure, sure. you know, uh, obviously, you know, beating Maryland is, 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 a, is a great thing. Um, it's a super competitive game. It's a great rivalry. They've got a tremendous program. They're well coached. They're terrific players. So to beat a good team, you know, is important. But this was important on so many other levels. You know, this was, yeah, about the uh, about the Big Ten, but this is, was about the national landscape. And now, when you've got a win over the number two team, and I'm not sure where all of us were ranked this week, but it's, it's still a top five team, and you got a, two wins over two top two top five wins. That was important today. So this was a big deal, on a, had a, and it had a lot of implications. Coach, do you think this uh, locks you into the tournament? It would seem with two top five wins, it'd be hard to deny you. I'd be embarrassed if we weren't because, you know, you look at it and it's not just about record, it's about who you play and we've got a tremendous strength of schedule, we've got a tremendous RPI, again we've got those wins and now we're going to go play number one, which helps our RPI again. So again, I'm not on the committee, but I would hope that the committee would see the value in what this team has done, especially in the second half of the season. Tell us what Bill Dwan did over the past five days to hold back this Maryland offense. Uh, you know what, Billy Dwan and Bobby Benson and, and Larry Quinn, our assistant coaches, have done a, a great job. Tim Obransky, our dolo. I mean, uh, we've been out without our server. So if you can imagine being without the, the one piece of machinery or technology that stores all your games, it's been a nightmare. And Tim has done an unbelievable job of getting us all the things we need. And then I, I thought Bill has done a great job at the face-off X and, and with our defense. Um, you know, he's gotten them to play together, uh, trust one another, and that's as good a half as we've played in quite some time. And then Bobby obviously did a great job, especially with halftime adjustments. So couldn't be more pleased with what those guys did. And, uh, you know, credit to, the, to, to, to my assistants and to the, to the team. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. The first half, you guys go through a 24 minute scoring drought. Second half, you'll hold Maryland to a 24 minute scoring drought. What was the difference? You know, as I said in the locker room, I felt like the first half wasn't a lot different than the last game. I mean, you think about it, when you when you look at, at, at shots in the first half, and, and, and the, the only difference was saves and goals. And that was a big difference. I thought their kid, Nicole, played great today. Um, and I thought our kid played a great second half. But I, I felt like the, the halves were so eerily similar, yet the difference in score was dramatic and a big part of that was the kid goal. and we just the, the big thing for us was we asked for three things we asked for effort we asked for execution and we asked for foul balls and it felt like in the first half we got the effort we got the ground balls and we weren't getting the execution which put the ball in the back of that is part of execution finishing a slide picking up a ground ball and getting it up field in the clear is execution i felt like we got that in the second half Looking at the Penn State, what do you guys need to do to continue on the momentum? Uh, maybe see if we can, you know, put a couple of flats in the Penn State bus's tires. Um, look, nobody's been able to handle them offensively. Um, they have, you know, proven that this year they are the elite team in the uh, in, in the Big Ten right now um, this season. Uh, they do a great job on the offensive end between Amen and O'Keefe and. They just share the ball and they come at you in so many different ways. It's just wave after wave. So we're, 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 we're going to be quite challenged to, to handle that. And then defensively, that's the, that's the end of the field that most people don't talk about with them. And that is the most improved end of the field for them. So we've got our work cut out for, for us. But you know what? we got another chance to go fight and take a swing. You touched on it a bit. Darby started off slow and goal and now he, in the second half, he, he performed really well. Just a few words on his performance tonight. Yeah, you know, he went from a kid who had never started a college game before in his life from Texas, you know, and we start him the first game of the year, and he's not ready to win us a game. I, I, I completely don't think he was responsible for our losses. 
but he wasn't ready to win us a game and he's now become a goalie that is capable of winning us a game and that's been uh, you know a product of his hard work his growth and his development coach you talked about execution in the second half how big was that first goal from joey to find kyle to give you all some momentum going forward in the second the start of the second half yeah. was huge i felt like that one was as big as last week when uh d simone got a goal they got a goal and we answered with d simone i felt like getting the first goal uh, the second half was usually important for momentum and confidence. Coach, talk about the difference. You know, lacrosse is such a strange game. Think about where you were last Friday mentally and where you are today. It's incredible, isn't it? Well, sports is uh, a microcosm of life. You know, think about where you are one minute and then the next day where you are. I mean, the things that happen to you. And, you know, we've tried to teach the guys, you know, the goal is to help them become better men. Better people, better students, better players, you know, and, and our hope is that we've helped them understand it's not what happens to you, it's how you handle what happens to you. And this season has been all about that. It's been all about how do we handle, do we do we fight back, you know, do we punch back or do we just, you know, give in? And there have been moments early in the season where we gave in and we had to learn how to fight back, how to punch back, and how to stand tall. And I, I think that's probably the thing that I'm most proud of with this group is that they've learned to fight back and, and not just accept their circumstances, but to, to deal with their circumstances and grow from them. Good luck.